minute to respond and will receive time cues through yellow and red cards held up by our timekeepers who are generously volunteering their services tonight. If a candidate goes over their allotted time, a bell will ring. Hope you heard that. And if the candidate continues speaking, their microphone will be cut. Let's get things started with our mayoral forum now with Kim and Mark. Mr. Russell, you are beginning. Good evening, and let's get right to it. The Department of Justice in July launched a pattern or practice investigation into the Memphis Police Department. As mayor, how would you work with the DOJ to ensure the MPD is following the process, and how will you respond once the DOJ provides its recommendations? And we'll start with Floyd Bonner and go in ascending order as far as the ballot goes. Thank you, Mark, and welcome all your listeners. Um, how you would respond, I've been through DOJ investigations before after a 42 year career at Sheriff's Office, and you welcome those uh, investigations. You need to know what's going on in your agency if you're doing things properly. Uh, by our agent being, agency being a CALEA certified organization, we believe that we are doing things properly and right. So when you get that information and you cooperate fully with DOJ, and then you, you look to better your agency. So if, if findings maybe not go one way or the other, but you, you must uh, uh, work with DOJ to uh, correct any issues that they might find. Karen Camper. Thank you and appreciate the question. I actually look forward to the investigation because I think it's going to give us some keen insights as to what's happening within our department. And based on what that is, it will give us an opportunity to share with the people how we can rebuild trust with police in our community. Ideas will come out whether we need to do more about community policing. So I, I, I welcome it. I plan to work with the uh, department. You know, I was in the military and we had investigations all the time. And so we work with the investigators, we're honest with the investigators, we reveal what we're doing right, we look at what we're doing wrong, and it gives us an opportunity to make sure that we are doing the right things going forward. So I look forward to it, can't wait to hear the results of it, and look forward to rebuilding trust with our community and our law enforcement. Next up is J.W. Gibson. Thank you very much. I too welcome the, the DOJ investigation. I think it's timely, I think it's gonna be a benefit to the community as well as the, the MPD department as a whole. As the mayor, being involved with that investigation, I will be totally transparent and open and cooperative to be of any service I could be with, uh, with them in answering questions, making people available to them. Total transparency is what I'm looking to provide to that investigation process. I also want to share that I do believe it will make us a better operation. I do believe as the investigation terminates itself, they will be able to provide us with guidelines and suggestions on how we can go about building that trust with the community, which I look forward to doing. Thank you. Michelle McKissick. The Department of Justice investigation, transparency is the first word that comes to mind. That's what the community always wants to say, how can we grow and be better from this? As part of my whole city Memphis safety plan, I would hire a crime czar. That's what I would do as mayor coming in the door. And so this crime czar would be about working across agencies, not only just MPD, but also the Shelby County Sheriff's Department. And then from there, we can see how do we monitor what's happening with the DOJ and then start applying it in real time, even before it's actually finished, just to be aware of it. So that is a part of my plan, of my whole city Memphis safety plan, is that to be rebuild trust with transparency and have a way where we're working with our police oversight boards, as well as communicating to the public what we are doing to make our Memphis Police Department and law enforcement in general in all of our our neighborhoods and our communities better for everyone, for MPD, for the Shelby County Sheriff's Department, but also for the city of Memphis and the citizens of this of this community. Turner. One of the last times DOJ was here was that they were investigating the jail. And at that time, there were deaths in the jail, and the DOJ came to fix those issues. We have 52 deaths in the jail now, and so maybe the DOJ will have to investigate more than just the MPD, but also our jail system. The first thing we have to do is listen to the report. We have to make sure that we understand the report. All the data is there. They're looking five years back. 
So we have to make sure that we understand the report, and two, we have to implement the plan that they give us. We need a top-down reform of our Memphis Police Department. We need to make sure that the incident that killed Tyree Nichols never happens again in this city. And finally, we have to execute on the plan. We have to set the matrix, and we have to meet the matrix, and we have to make sure that we're executing on all the plans that they say we need to do in order to rehabilitate and reform our police department. I have the endorsement of D.A. Mulroy, and as mayor, I'll work with the D.A. to get that job done. Thank you. Paul Young? Yeah, we, we welcome the investigation from the Department of Justice. It's an opportunity to restore trust with the community, which is the number one thing that we should be working on uh, right now uh, as we look at how we're going to move forward. Uh, when I think about this question, I think about the encounter I had with a Memphis police officer uh, after the Tyree Nichols tragedy. Uh, and in this encounter, the, the individual said, uh, look me in my eyes, man. He said, look at me. I want you to know that this is not who we are. What you saw on that video is not who we are. I want you to know that we care about this community. Those were his words. And so in order for the community to know that our officers feel like that, we need to go through this investigation, take the report, make the necessary changes so that we can rebuild the trust between our Memphis Police Department and our community. And as your mayor, I'm committed to doing that. Our next question, 